Hi, Chris. Hi. How's it going? Okay. Did you seriously put rubber bands all over that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you jerry rigged it. I'm on the truck talk. Oh, shit. How's it going? Okay. Anything you want to say? Fuck Trump. Alrighty. Is that the episode? I don't know. What is it? It's you. You're the one talking. Okay. Go ahead. Start us off, Chris. Uh, I don't know. I dislike Trump. I think he's a racist, pompous piece of shit. Um, I don't care if anybody thinks otherwise. He's not a good role model. He, uh, actually, um, makes kids think it's all right to be racist because he's the president. Um, he's not good with the work he's doing in the White House. He's already gotten rid of the Environmental Protection Agency because he's a stupid piece of shit. Um, well, don't hold back. He's, I seriously doubt he got rid of the EPA. He's He said he would uh, provide help and protection against LBGT and transsexuals. He revoked all that first day in White House. He said that he helped the nation get out of debt $50 billion when in fact Obama's work doesn't uh, stop taking place till October. That's when Trump's work takes place in that avenue. So he's trying to take credit for what Obama did. Um, and I probably shouldn't say anymore, but yeah, he's, I don't, I dislike him very much. I don't want him to fail, but I want him to get a sense of common decency and stop being such a bad role model. I want him to become better at what he's doing so the country can be, actually be great instead of fall into turmoil like I, it seems to be doing. And he uh, kind of sells a lot of his stuff on Twitter, doesn't he? Yeah, someone uh, criticizes him and he mopes about it on Twitter. And then he, uh, like, goes to bed crying, I guess. Kind of like James on an average, on an average Wednesday. No, I rage. I don't cry. He's trying to Very run nice. America like he runs his own businesses with secrecy and full control. Which I don't agree with any of that. Like the shadow? Like skulls and skulls and crossbones? The skulls! He, he was part of that group when he was in college. And guess what happened to that pipeline he uh, signed in over uh, in Native American territory? It already broke. So yeah, it proves him wrong in signing that over to be constructed. It also proves that everybody that said it was a bad thing to, in the first place to build that pipeline there, because... Well, either that one broke or one nearby broke in the same territory. Did you territory. Like to turn the heater off, Lance? I don't have the heater on at all. I have the AC on. You want the AC back on? That would be nice. There you go. But, uh, I mean, I don't want to be a total, sound like a total hypocrite, but I just do not like him. How do you sound like a hypocrite? I don't know. So, who would you vote for? I would vote for uh, Bacon for president. Yeah, it sounds like a better choice. Tastier, anyways. A lot easier to assassinate and get away with. Yeah, you just have to get a flamethrower and a skillet. What did crispy bacon ever do to you guys? Christopher P. Bacon never renewed my taxes. Alright, well... That's a thing. Alright, well... I don't well, think it's a thing. I don't think it's a thing either. Alright, so what would you do if you, would, if you were the president? If I was the president, I would somehow find a way to... Uh, oh shit, if I was the president... This is your chance! I wouldn't know what to do because I'm not qualified. I'll straight up say I'm not qualified to do that work. I have no, uh, work, no experience in politics, no experience in, uh, government works. Uh, oh, does it stop the math, president of what we got now? Yeah, sure, but... I, uh, I don't know what's good... F well, I know some things that would be better, like... Uh, getting rid of uh, some of the uh, stupid laws about uh, 
private prisons to where one thing that's bad right now is there's private prisons out there that uh, if the state doesn't get to keep the prison full, the state has to pay a huge tax towards the prison for not keeping it full. And these private prisons are keeping people in prison for stupid reasons that they people that in these prisons get written up for things right and left without actually even doing them so they stay longer for not being so savvy on political things you seem to be very political well i have my thoughts and the whole thing about marijuana colorado after doing that is having they had so much extra money from taxes on hemp and stuff that they could uh, feed the homeless, they could house the homeless, and they could put the children in through better schooling and build better schools, more adequate schools, hire more teachers, build more, more factories, all that stuff. And I, I think every state should legalize it for recreation and medical, mostly just medical if that's all we could get it legalized for. And instead of using cotton and uh, wood for things, hemp can be used for just about anything a tree can be used for, and it grows faster, it can renew faster, and it's biodegradable, meaning you can make plastic bottles out of hemp that will biodegrade within a certain amount of you know time being in the sunlight, where plastic bottles made of uh, oil just sit there forever until they're unless they're recycled um you can make clothes out of hemp uh cannabis oil helps treat uh cancer and get has actually been scientifically proven to cure cancer in ways you're hearing it first ladies and gentlemen he wants to be our first hippie president i don't smoke but i think hemp has a lot of industrial and scientific uses um people with autism that go into spastic attacks and hurt themselves. It's been shown that uh, when they breathe in uh, cannabis vapor from a, a vaporizer thing, that they stop the attacks, they calm down, they stop hurting themselves, and they it helps them act normally. It helps with inflammation, it helps with many things. And everybody is so stuck on keeping it illegal because they make so much money out of cotton. It makes so There's much your money. Platform, Mr. Lewis. Go green or go nowhere. They go. They make so much money out of deforestation that they don't want to change in to a new industry of hemp because they lose money. They lose money on jailing people through uh, private prisons and stuff. And a lot of those people are, you know. Yeah, they, they do stupid stuff like killing people, which, is, yeah, you need to go to prison for that. But many of those people in the private prisons and any other prison are in there for marijuana use. And if we decriminalize it and legalize it for recreation to where you have to be in your home, you can't be driving, and you have to, or you have to be at a cafe and, you know, walk home, you know, and not drive or, like, get a cab home, you know, just deal... Treat it like it's alcohol, people. That's what I was going to say, James. Um, yeah, treat it like it's alcohol. I think every state would have more money for things they need. People would be less likely to do other drugs because they would have so be, be busy with this. Um, and it's not harmful. It, it, you would have to smoke three times your weight in order to overdose on marijuana. And if that, if at yeah, all. even if that, and I don't know anybody that can smoke that much. I've never heard of anybody overdosing on, you know, anything that isn't strictly cannabis and not like laced with something. If it's if other chemicals are added, that's one thing. Just but if like it's pure marijuana, you can't overdose unless you smoke three to four times your own weight. Not and that head. and by the time you got to the point of like half your weight, you'd be so gone. That you'd want a pizza, half a box of of not nachos, and you'd want to go to sleep afterwards. You know what's so criminal about that? 
what's so criminal about curing cancer? Um, adding an, an extra industry to making clothes, uh, cutting down on deforestation and using hemp and st that grows faster than uh, trees and leave the trees for what they should be doing, giving us oxygen, protecting against storms, you know, storm winds in certain areas and such. Um, I'm done, but yeah. All right, well, there we go. Um, those all, um, this is political views. I think they're pretty good. Um, nope. There we go. James, do you want to have something? I if, do have something to say uh, because uh, if I was president, wait, wait, wait. I can guarantee, wait. I can guarantee wait, wait, wait. they will be out do of we, debt. Do we, do we need to pause this and do another video? Because this is already probably pretty long. We're going to have to cut it in half. Yeah. All right. Uh, that was part one. We'll have uh, James's part two. Who knows? Maybe I'll have a part three. <laughs>